Hi folks, I was thinking of doing something for beginners, a basic oil painting for beginners. That's just because I've got to get the easel today, I think. The angle slightly awry. Uh, so, f to begin, you can paint uh, on any suitable surface. Canvas, canvas board, hardboard. But uh, hardboard and paper really need to be primed. Otherwise the oil will soak straight in and come out the other side and it'd be difficult to stick to a board to mount as an oil painting if you ever wanted to do it. I'm using a bit of uh, watercolour paper which was a YouTube demo but I don't like it now. Probably did three or four years ago. Uh, so I've primed both sides because it's got paintings on both sides with PVA glue, some dilute PVA glue that I mix up in a bottle from a big two and a half litre can of it. About one to one that is because my uh, the can that I've got of uh, all purpose with wood glue is just a little bit on the thin side. So uh, I've come to say it. Now that's, uh, I've dried it with a hairdryer and pinned it to the board. Now that, that to all intents and purposes is waterproof, so or an oil proof probably. Uh, and I was thinking of doing um, a, a, uh, a hill scene, lake district type of painting. Bit of a lake and some bit of headlands coming in. We'll see how we go. Now I'm using as a medium some alkyd resin, some Winsor Newton flow medium, fast, fast drying oil. This I believe is non-toxic because it doesn't say it is. So I'm keeping well away from uh, toxic uh, mediums. It's uh, fast drying oil, fast drying linseed oil. It's quite expensive. I, I, I'm using also the alkyd, walnut alkyd medium mixed with a bit of cheap, well not cheap, it's food grade, uh, small walnut oil. I don't know what you do with it, stick it on salads and stuff, salad dressing, uh, or I suppose you could cook with it. But I'm painting with it, but not today. I'm, I'm going to use, use up some of this drying linseed oil, pour a bit more out, more out. You can use paint straight from the tube, but I like it to flow. I'm really enjoying what oil paint can do when it's mixed with oil. Uh, any other questions? I'm using three colours. Cadmium yellow, cadmium red, ultramarine, and a bit of black, just as a fourth colour or non-colour, to mix with the yellow to make lovely greens. I'm going to make a summary sort of scene. I don't want to do great big uh, trees with trunks and branches. That would be far too difficult, for, not only for me, but for you. And would take too long. I'm just going to put block in, like I've, the last two I've done. But one on YouTube, one I didn't record, I thought I had, but I hadn't. So I had to redo do it, but a different one. I'm both on Facebook. Uh, right, so uh, I'll, I'll put in a bit of a background. So a bit of, bit of blue, a bit of yellow, a bit of red. Whatever you put on, you're going to change. So start with the... We'll have... Uh, some info. Well, we'll have a fairly low horizon, so we just put in some some fairly distant trees on the on the far bank there. Go right away across. Don't be put off by the painting that's underneath it. I'm using red, blue, yellow, three primaries, and oh, this will this won't dry today, but it'll go tacky. So we can just get the horizon nice and horizontal. And behind that we'll put in some some hills. Now you need plenty of cloth. Now what I'm using is uh, just an old piece of toweling, probably an old dressing gown. Uh, and just cleaning the brush. I'm not using an intermediate brush cleaner because they, they are mostly very toxic. And I have a habit of holding the rag under my nose and cleaning as I go, and that really is not good. So I clean the brushes like this, and at the end of the session, I clean them with Swarfiga, which is an engineering grease cleaner, 
it works brilliantly. And then I, I give them another washing, dishwasher liquid. And they say, say nice and clean, nice and soft, ready to go. Just finished my cup of tea. And as I don't do any paint work any, any more, apart from a bit of YouTube revenue and a bit from Patreon, which I hope you will consider supporting. Um, I, I'm going to do this, then I'm going to light the charcoal and cook a couple of trout for my wife and I. And then tonight, it'll be a lovely prawn curry on the barbie. But, the, but just use, I just use it for a source of heat. My daughter's coming over, so that'd be very nice. Right, bit of bit of blue now, bit of blue in the background. So blue, red. I can't show you the mixing. I'm sorry to say, but we'll just put in some of this, some of these hills in the background. Not too high. That's probably too high. But by the time I put the sky in, I can adjust it all. So start with a, a view to changing what you put on. Don't try to do a finished painting to begin with. Just you know, I, I've done a lot of lake paintings. I've been to the Lake District several times. That's the British. Uh, Lake District. I haven't been to Scotland, or the Highlands of Scotland anyway. So that'll do. That's just a start. Now we'll put in a, our cleaner brush and I'll get a light coloured brush, well a brush for light colours, and we'll put in a bit of a bit of um, a bit of red, a bit of yellow, a load of white, and we'll just scrub in roughly. There's going to be other colours on this. Now I'm not one for hard edges. I hate hard edges. It took a long time to sort to, to that out with us. I can't think of any time. So I just soften just Diffuse it a little bit. Try to make sure that your horizons, as I say, it's horizontal. Plenty of oil with. Just a bit of colour in there. Might do a dramatic sky, I might not, but that the basic sort of laying in of the uh, the objects of the landscape that I'm going to put in. I'm going to put some grasses up here or just take them down a bit further. Very extravagant this oil one I must say with the uh, the alkyd based linseed oil. Okay, that that be that. Right now, sky. This is going. To, this is too dark. It's probably just. I might. Well, just a lay in, isn't it? So a bit of white. I might even go back. I used all that. Bit of white. Bit of yellow. Bit of red. Not green. The um. The black makes glorious greens with the cadmium yellow pile. I will just check that over there. Okay, that's good. A bit more. Might have to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to change that yellow. Sorry about this. Uh, it's a bit tainted with black from yesterday. And um, I want pure colours at the moment. I don't want mixed colours. So I'm going to take it off. 
and just wipe that bit of uh, my bit of greaseproof paper. I've got my palette on greaseproof paper. I, when I finish for the day, I can just roll it up and throw it away. Right, let's just get some more. That's the cabin, yellow yeah, Winton. They're all Winton, apart from apart from the um, the white. Well, this white is Winton as well. But I, I normally mix it with a bit of Alcides resin-based paint from Winton Newton, the Griffin range. You can use Griffin for all of your paints paintings if you wish. It's it's good quality. I, think I prefer. Prefer my wall, I prefer my Right. I'm not a lover of blue skies, I like uh, cloudy skies. But we can paint what skies we like, so we will have a bit of blue, let's uh, Kill the canvas. resume with it as well. See now we've got the whole canvas or paper covered. And then we can have some fun with blending. You need oil for really for blending. Something's happening there already, but I don't want to over this. Move around your painting, do a bit here and a bit there, and all the time the paper or the, the support this is called a support is uh, is drying or going a little bit tacky. Okay, so we want a bit of better shape of those hills there, and I want the clouds sort of coming over the hills. So a bit of white, a bit of red, a bit of yellow. Very strong, too strong. But you don't want white clouds. You want clouds with a bit of bit of colour in. If you're new to oil painting, welcome to the world of tradition. Wonderful, wonderful what you can do with oil. In the 1990s, late 1990s, I did loads of Venice paintings for a gallery. It's a lovely exercise. I had 80 Venice paintings, wow. They didn't all sell, but I got paid for them. So like a project. It's come down there. Make the horizon just a bit lower. Oh, this this really does make me come alive as far as painting goes. Now, the one I did yesterday, the River Wandle, semi-abstract impression, apparently. Not fully abstract impressionism. But I've had a couple of like, dislikes, thumbs down, I can't see the points in that. I think it's my my watercolour followers don't like me painting oils or acrylic. I'm not allowed to paint watercolours, but I paint what I want to paint. There's loads of watercolours on. Well, I must have, I don't know, 1,200 watercolour demonstrations on YouTube. And about, about 100, over 100 on Patreon. Right, okay, let that go. Let's do, uh, I'll do some water now. I'm not sure how far I'm going to take reflections in this water. Um, but I want that fairly straight there. Uh, 
No, that just softens it nicely. <coughs> I'm going to do a bit more of this. I quite like that mauvey colour. That's my sort of shorthand for blue. If you remember the old oil paintings, that glorious luminous blue, that wasn't a hue, that was a lapis lazuli from Afghanistan, finely ground, absolutely fabulous colour, but you, I don't, you just can't get it synthesised now. You can still buy the original powder. It hasn't uh, vanished. Alright, just a little bit of cloud in there. So it's just red and blue. I was just modelling a few clouds just going across the uh, across the horizon there. Then we can soften that and, and put in some lighter clouds there, more white, but still pigment, still the red and the yellow. I'll, I'll show you the palette in a minute. Plenty of oil. The more white. So it's just a little bit, a bit wet. Try not to repeat yourself. I can't see what I'm doing there because the light is shining on it. And this gets very shiny. It dries with a lovely gloss. And after a few days it's sort of hard, hardens. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to go really light on that horizon. Plenty of oil. So you can just get carried away in, in this. Just lost, completely lost. Okay, we'll let that go for a minute. Um, I want to put in uh, a bank there, so blue, red and yellow. More red and then blue. Then just, just a bit of a bit of a bank here. Yellow and red, white, Get some warm colours in there for the, the sort of beach. Just like a, one of my watercolours. One side light against dark. So, blue and red. I've used the black here. Oil. Hello. Okay, so that we can we can develop that and we'll get another lump of warmer stuff. Yellow red in here coming up. bit of black now.
warm colours in the front, cool colours in the rear. Okay, that's a start, that's not the finish, that's just the start. Now if I put dark, dark in there, I can put light underneath it, like the grass is just catching. People have problems with foregrounds, my advice is do it quick, do it quick. Whatever you put on there will stay. It won't bleed in. It will just stay on the top. Well, I'll get some colour in this uh, foreground now. I'm going to the bottom because I've got some, some frames that are about 14 by just over it, or 14 by 11 more or less. And just, if, I want to mount some of these on, on MDF. Let's put a bit of that uh, water in here. I like putting reds with my my greens. Right. So we're coming. So I'm going to leave that now. Just let it dry for a little bit. Clean my, my brush a good clean in the rag. I need to put it in my water. I don't want that to look like that blue there to look like cloud. I want it to look like hills. It's probably just a little bit too big. So we we'll come back with that. That just cloud colour. I will just take some of that out now. Just dabbing it. And that reduce there a little bit. Load of oil. Okay, that's a bit better. I'll put some other colours behind that, eh? Right, uh, 
well, to, well, need a tree somewhere coming up from from here. Uh, right, okay. So that's bouncing a little bit. Uh, green, red, yellow, black. So we'll go over that bit there. Don't panic. Good dark shadow in this. Very massive. Just mixing blue and red and oil. Just so I can counter change. Get your, you don't want a, a candy floss in here, you want some variety. Right, that'll do for a minute. And maybe we'll, uh, we need something over here now. Uh, same again, I suppose, but, but smaller or bigger, not the same. Like a sort of an inlet. Oh, let's do that again. Inlet. Nice and red, bit of green, bit of yellow. You can copy your watercolours, I do. Anything I, I want to do as an idea, I go, go and look back through my old stuff. Anything I can use. Right, okay, we sort of will have a bit of a, another big, big watch, big watch of. shadow underneath. I'm not worried about putting branches and stuff in, just all undergrowth. Might put a bit of white back. Now, red and black, blue again. I only use a tiny bit of black if I use it at all. So it's basically a three, just three primary colour painting, which makes it more simplified. Right, um, so more some dark greens in there now. So black, yellow, red. Oil. I use a lot of red because it counter changes the or enhances the uh, green, red and green, the complements, I say. Still with me? This is totally imaginary. Lots of shadow in, in this area here from that tree.
Oh, this is lovely oil. No, to make it look as if there's lots of <coughs> tree leaves, thick summer. Now, I'll get some shadow in there. So that, that will counter change against a bit of light. It's so blue and red. That's coming on, that's a, that's a nice summery looking bit of, that's all going to tone right down. I want that to be bright, but go back, I'm just move around a bit, I can't see what I'm doing in there. I've got a window on my right, above my right. Then in that we can start to put in some some yellow. I'm going to have to just mm, try to move my easel so I can see. The, 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 it's so shiny that it's affecting the light. Right. Move my camera back a bit. Okay. Put some red in with that yellow. See that just a touch of red that's a bit bit dirty red but all the time I'm building up the shape of the of the the leaves the, like the bells with the light catching them. I'm going to start thinking about putting buildings in some of these. It's already. Oh, it's a bit of, bit of grassy stuff now. White, yellow, bit of red, bit of oil. It's a lovely day today. About time. Thank you, Lord. We haven't had much of a spring in the UK. We've had some some night, a couple of nice spells, but mostly it's been cold and miserable. A bit of lumpy oil. It's congealing a bit now. So all the colours I'm getting in there now, it's amazing what you can do with just three colours and a lump of oil. Now, this is slightly ready. 
ум. There's nothing difficult about all this. I mean, I'm a great one for making it up as I go along because I'm not beholden to photographs. It's taken me a long time to get to that stage, I must say. I've got another brush that'll do that better. But I want a bit, bit of warm. I'm going to just go into that middle bit. I'll, I'll change the brush. Change it to this. No, I don't think I want that one. I'll try this. This is a Fitch. I think they call it a Fitch. It's a, it's a flat but round. But quite a sharp edge and, and a bit loose as well. So we'll uh, get in some, some bluey, greeny colour for that horizon, plenty of see about that colour. Right there. Blue green. I want to separate the tree from that background. All right, that's a bit better. Now we're putting some shadowy colour along there. Oil, don't forget the oil. Can I have some warm in there? <coughs> Clean me brush in the bag and oh that paint always dry. Well. Wow. Hard now at that edge a little bit. There are the hills. There it is. The right now, um, oh, I was just sort of doing those shadows once, wasn't I? Red, blue. Then there's more blue in, in the background of that. So, just put blues back in those trees. They just come forward a bit too much. So, a bit of blue. Right, some 
bluey green. Fine, I want to put in some, a bit of a bit of that sky now in the in the water, a bit of reflection. The oil's getting very very murky now. Just catching some of those colours. I don't really want water going in there so much as a beach. Oh, I'll just have to watch that. Right, let's have a bit of that blue and white and yellow. Blue and white. Some of the sky colours. Try and get them sort of parallel to the horizon. successfully is it? But just keep working away till, till you put it looking like you want it to look. Whatever you do, don't use white. Just use an off white. It's not really picking up. This is just a bit damp. I don't suppose it looks too bad. Right, I've got, I've got this other brush here. Um, like with my sort of stipple brushes, so it's an old inch bristle, Chinese bristle. I, I want to get some nice coming into the light a bit there. So. Just try and bring that in there a bit, I think. Fill in there. It's a bit of dark. That. This is a simple painting, but when I say it's simple, It's achievable. It, it, anybody who says that painting is easy, simple, it, it, it isn't. It's difficult, but it's doable. 
You're not going to start with masterpieces, that's for sure, any more than I am. yellow in. So I had intended to have the water going all the way across but it's just proving a little bit too difficult. And a bit of red. I have all sorts of colours in there. Right, now we put in some in the foreground, plenty of oil. Just some flower heads or Glasses for all big scene. It's, it's all bluster. Right, having said I wouldn't, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to use a, a rigger just, just to put in a little bit of bit of detail in here. I'm going to start with some new oil, I think. A little goes a long way. Trout coming up. It's a little bit of black here. Where it will show. Well, that'll do. That's a that's a, a demo. I'll just put in the oil. Give that a bit of a clean with my with my rigger. Uh, oh, I haven't signed any of these. Um, right, I'm going to put it in the mounts now. We'll have a look at it. It's a 
not very good there so I'm just going to put some leaves in there just counter change that a little bit could put some uh, it's a bit too wet now I could in the future just put in some light spots but um but I might let's turn those off bit of bit of masking tape oh I haven't even used put my penny on for this I, I forgot this will be dry tomorrow and in being dry I could work over them but this is a demonstration for beginners in oil well yeah, beginners or those wanting to have a go but uh, haven't got round to it yet try to inspire you try to build up a new audience of, of oil and acrylic painters as well as watercolor I still could do watercolors if you give those up that's the chance to get your horizon horizontal move them out you can when, when these are dry you, you can mount them on board and stick them in an oil frame so you don't have to go to the trouble of, of um, framing them behind glass okay well, so, so there we are no, no detail on that maybe just a touch of um, touch more Blue, bluey. Just to throw it back a bit. My water's not very good. That's better, that, that takes it back a bit. You can't have the same tone, in, even in watercolors, you can't have that in the, the same tone as this. It just wouldn't look right. You've got to give it a bit of an aerial recession. Uh, just that up a bit there. Right. That I could improve when it's dry. But anyway, I, I'm going to move this camera back and see if I can. It's all about the air. It's closed dry. <laughs> see, all in my house, isn't it? Right, I think that's about as good as we're going to, going to get. There, so have a have a go. Don't, don't don't be don't be scared. Just have a go. There's only you to do, that'll see it if it's not any good. Don't worry about it. Just have a go. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye bye.